Hello, welcome to Creative Fingers. My name is Joanne Oben, a professional nurse. Today we are going to be learning how to produce transparent liquid soap. And we already have our chemicals on our board here. It may interest you to note that transparent liquid soap is the trending soap in the market. And also, we have transparent liquid soap, we have the non-transparent liquid soap, which can also be called the multi-purpose liquid soap that is used for washing, clothes, and so on. But this transparent liquid soap in particular can serve as hand wash, it can also serve as car wash, it can also serve as dish wash, and so on. So, let's get started. First, we are going to be introducing our chemicals. And the first on our list here is our texapone. And texapone, we are going to be using half kg of texapone, which is 600 naira. We are also going to be using SLS 1 over 8, that is 150 naira. We are also going to be using our cooking salt, 400 gram, 100 naira, perfume, 30 ml. I didn't put price here for perfume because some people prefer that they have very high fragrance. You don't want the fragrance, but you can decide to increase yours to 40 ml, or you want you don't want the fragrance so much, and so you want to use 20 ml. It is okay by you. But before we continue, we're going to be introducing our chemicals. This is our SLS. It's if you go to, to buy in the chemical shop, it's tiny like grain of rice kind of you can i don't know you can just try to view it properly okay and then this is our texapon texapon is jelly kind of and then this is our perfume these are these are colors i'm going to be combining these two colors this is actually green and this is blue but I'm going to be combining both to see the outcome. It should give us something like purple or better still. I could just use just one, which is the pink. And then this is our salt. You can see that the mouth is broken. And so I had to make this up to be 400 grams. We will start right away. But first, you should know that once you're going into producing um, soaps, whichever one, You'll be dealing with chemicals and so you have to start by covering yourself we are done and so we are going to go ahead and soak our sls this sls is supposed to be in this water for 45 to 45 minutes to one hour but then every 15 minutes you stir this chemical there that we have is for 8 liters. Okay. You stir for like 5 to 10 minutes before you cover and allow it to sit for the next one hour. From under the bucket, you can no longer see the chemical. That will be all for now and when dealing with chemicals you have to be extremely careful you keep children away and so we are going to allow you sit for the next 45 minutes to one hour welcome back now we are going to be mixing our texapon and our salt together make sure you press down you press out everything now we'll turn our salt as you turn you stir you stir if you give it a good stir so that it can blend which will stir for like 10 to 15 minutes and make sure you have a good blend 
Now we can go ahead and add our SLS to stir. Ensure you have a good blend. You keep stirring and stirring for everything to mix properly. Now we add the next one. You keep stirring. You stir. So we just add the remaining tutors. Please ensure you stay to have a good blend. You stay for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then you cover and allow it to mix and settle. And at that time, you get your transparent liquid soap. Thereafter, you add your perfume and your color you can see how transparent it is so we will now go ahead and immediately mix our color what I did was to scoop a little of the soap into this container because it is not right that you mix your color straight into your production. It is not right because you will not know how to moderate the color. You don't know when it is too much. And then the smaller the color, the better. <coughs> Let's add a little more. That should be okay. Then you mix. Ensure you mix properly. You mix to make sure you don't you are not having any long. And then to have a good blend. When you are done mixing, you transfer it to the big. Ooh, this is beautiful. The reason why this is advisable is so that if you've got, if you've seen that the color is enough as to your taste, you could just discard the leftover so that you don't have too much color you can see from under our bucket that it is really transparent and we'll then go ahead to mix our perfume all right now we'll turn our color As you can see, because of the color, it's cloudy a little. And the good thing is, it will eventually settle. But what you will just do is to cover this for a period of 24 hours. It's usually good that once you finish production, you cover and allow it to sit for 24 hours before you start packaging, if it's for selling. But it is just for your house use. You can go ahead and use immediately. We have come to the end of this um, section. My name is Joanne Oben. It's good to have you. God bless you. I love you.